All right, hello and welcome to the Master Indie YouTube channel. My name is Eric Tereshinsky, and I like to program things in Unity 3D and make video games. Uh, and some of you might also know that I've also been doing some private tutoring lately and teaching other people how to make video games. And today is going to be really awesome because we get a chance to show off uh, one of my current students' projects. Uh, this is a game that she has fully worked on. I haven't touched this project at all. Um, what we did was we actually had two separate projects and we kind of did like a little prototype sandbox and we would screen record and she would see what I saw on my screen and I would explain to her how I would uh, do it and she would uh, do all the code again on her computer and this is the final result and she's done a whole bunch of level design and made a really cool puzzle game so I am going to let her go ahead and take the lead of this video and go ahead and just uh, show off the awesome video game that she's made so take it away Kat Hello I'm Eric Tereshinsky, how's everyone doing? Uh, actually I'm Eric Tereshinsky Okay, never mind about that, I'm actually Catherine and I'm the maker of this game. I had very little hope with it, just some coding tips and tricks from Eric. And why don't we jump into it? Also, I want to mention that this is my version of the game. Eric's version is much more bare bones, and it just has the major features that we discussed. So yeah, we just have... had like, oh, sorry. <laughs> we just had like a little sandbox level for my version, and you took the knowledge from that and applied a whole bunch of really cool level design and actually turned it into a video game. Yeah, so my version actually has the level design. I'm not sure if we're going to actually put his version, but maybe we will. I'm not sure. That will be decided after this video. Anyway, let's go on and start a new game. Continue game. I've already completed this game, so yeah. New game. It says level 1 at the top of the screen, and we have a blue cursor, so then you can tell the difference between the rest of the surfaces. Now this is my first animation that I created, and that's the sp spinning top and the walls falling down. It's really cool and I love it. Okay, so, now we have this weird floating cube ball thing, and I'm not sure what to do with it yet. Of course, that's just acting. I really do know what to do with it, but just play along. Anyway, um, press left mouse button or E to pick up the floating cube. Next, put the cube on the button. Okay. Pretty simple. So I'm going to press the left mouse button because that's easier to do. Although you portal maniacs will know that you need to press E. And that's what this game has taken heavily, heavy in inspiration from. It's taken heavy inspiration from Portal and Portal 2 and other games similar to it like Anti-Chamber. And also you'll see in a second there's a mechanic which has taken inspiration from I think it's called Windlands where you grapple from tree to tree. Also, I forgot to mention that the main protagonist is a transgender left-handed cat. Add some diversity into the list of main protagonists into games. And this is also my first puzzle that I've created in Unity, so I'm really proud of it. Now, this code for the signs was actually made for uh, one of the first games that I worked on with Eric. So... It actually spans to the beginning of the first lesson that we worked on and where it pops up like that and then when you press E it uses a UI element to uh, show the dialogue. <coughs> now I do want to mention that, um, oh also this was made for an NPC script instead of a sign. I do want to mention that everything is modular such as level design. I do have animation written in code and I'm going to elaborate that in a second. And also my puzzle mechanics. Everything is all modular. So there will be a level editor to which will be all modular so it, you can make your own levels that it will be incoming to a theater near you. Meaning your laptop, desktop, or whatever you're going to use to make your levels if you ever want to. Uh, also, uh, I'm going to get onto the next level in a second, but also I have a base level, which is what I use to create all future levels. I didn't have it at first, and that kind of made it difficult because I had to copy levels and I had to delete all the panels 
which luckily I had decided to put it inside of a room empty game object. If you know Unity, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And so, and so I, it was easy to delete it, but I realized I needed a room which I could just start everything off of. So I created a base room. And also we got eight tutorial levels and two puzzles, and we'll go on to the next level. Level two, we got a sign. Press space to jump, 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 jump. Okay, that's pretty simple. Press space to jump. Your height doesn't increase after every jump like Mario, but still pretty fun to do. Also notice that the lights turn on when I put the cube ball thing, I call it the X cube, onto the panels, onto the button. So and it kind of lights everything up and you could see where everything is growing. It's pretty. It's pretty pretty. Anyway, so I'm going to go on to the next one. Press E to read. Grab the claw shot 5.0. Um, so yeah, it just takes inspiration from Legend of Zelda a little bit. But that's as much as the inspiration goes from there. The rest is... The rest is up to your imagination if you want to take more inspiration, but I didn't. So anyway, you can grapple uh, with it on light surfaces. Light meaning light colored, like that one. Now notice, if I press the last mouse button, I can't do anything. I can't grapple onto any of the surfaces, not even the light one. When I grab it, now I can't. I still can't grapple on here, but if I grapple onto there, it will let me. Also notice a little Easter egg here. It says Carp United. We'll get into that in a future video. Level four. Okay, so yellow stuff is electrocuted. Please touch it. We need less test subjects. P.S. You can grapple more than once without touching the ground. So let's see. I'm gonna grapple and grapple and I fail. As you can see, I'm not perfect at it. Um, I'm going to do the best way to do this, which is spamming. Oh, um, so yeah, this is the end. I forgot to mention that I modeled this myself. So yeah, this is one of the earlier models that I made with uh, 3D text and everything. And so yeah, I'm going on to the next. That was modeled in Blender, right? Yeah, modeled in Blender. All of the models that I made are in Blender. But this sign isn't modeled yet, so it's pretty bland. It's just two cubes. Um, so yeah. By the way, you can grapple walls. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, also, you cannot hook shot that far. So you got like a range of like 10, I think. So, not 10, maybe 20. 20 units in unity and so the best way I realized was to jump at the beginning and then to grapple from wall to wall it's really hard this level the level this is probably the hardest level so far yeah this is a hard level I think I've only beaten it like once <laughs> <laughs> I've had to beat this several times and it's always a pain in the butt to do this multiple times in a row but the best way is to jump from that corner, or maybe that corner, and jump to the corresponding side. And try to do it in one grapple. So press E to read, to crouch press, control! Yes, there is crouching in this game. Crawl through vents, this is not a vent, but it's supposed to represent one. Level 7, there's no sign here, so I assume I just do the same thing. Crawl through the vent. And of course, there's the end. Now we're getting very close to the end. So I think I'll mention that there is a secret mechanic, which I will leave up to you guys to decide and figure out what it is. I have already implemented it into the game, but I will not show it in this video. Level eight, press E to read. If you want to, you can press, you can sprint with shift. Okay, cool, that's really good to know. So right now I'm sprinting. This is a really long hallway, so 
it will take a little bit. And finally I got to the end. And Carp United, as I mentioned. And let me hop in. Level 9. Press E to read. Here is where the testing actually starts. I will wish you death. Instead of like breaking a leg or anything like that, we'll just straight up say we wish you death. Because we of course need less test subjects in this universe. We apparently have an abundance of them. Anyway, so I'm going to grapple up here because this is a little box. If you grapple up there, maybe you could go and stand on something. Maybe there's a finish. Who knows? But actually, you could grapple right inside of this box. And there's the finish. Finally, we got level 10. Which actually I built b before level 9, but I realized difficulty-wise, level 9 goes before 10. So yeah. There's no sign here because this is where testing actually starts. Less tutorial levels from now on. And this is unfortunately the last level in this demo, slash beta, slash alpha, slash omega, slash whatever version you want to call it. Um, basically, it is not a complete version of this game. And so yeah, let me finish this off. So I stand on this button. All the panels are blue. I chose the colors myself. I'm so proud of myself. And I grapple through, and wow, that was pretty easy. And that's the end of our journey. So if you guys have any questions, I would love you to comment in the description or if you have any ideas or anything, anything of that sort, even constructive criticism, just nothing too negative because I won't be able to take it. You know, my heart will explode and there will be blood everywhere and my mom will have to clean it up. So, and I don't want to give her a hard time cleaning up my blood. So anyway, I'd love for you guys to comment in the description of any ideas for this game, and we will certainly make more updates of this game. See ya next time, and keep making games.